Hi, welcome to RK Varsity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you the concept of operating leverage and how to calculate operating leverage. So, operating leverage measures the sensitivity between operating profit, that is earnings before interest and tax, also called as EBIT, and sales. Furthermore, operating leverage measures operating risk of a business entity. If the company has high degree of operating leverage, then its risk is also high. Now I'll explain you how to calculate the degree of operating leverage and how to interpret it. Now here is an example. Wind power has a sales of rupees 10 lakhs, variable cost of 6 lakhs and fixed cost of 2 lakhs. Calculate and interpret degree of operating leverage. So your degree of operating leverage, denoted as DOL, this equals to percentage change in EBIT upon percentage change in sales. In other way, you can also calculate degree of operating leverage as contribution margin upon operating profit or also called as EBIT. So to get a percentage change in EBIT, you need to have a two different uh, EBIT values. Whereas here uh, we are given only one time period values. So we use the second equation that is contribution margin upon operating profit or EBIT. So here our contribution is this equals to sales minus variable cost. So sales are 10 lakhs and the variable cost is 6 lakhs. So your contribution is 4 lakhs. Then EBIT is EBIT or operating profit. This equals to sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost. So this equals to 10 lakhs minus 6 lakhs minus 2 lakhs. So EBIT is 2 lakhs. Now our degree of operating leverage this equals to contribution margin that is 4 lakhs upon EBIT raised 2 lakhs. So this is 2. So your degree of operating leverage is 2. Now what this 2 indicates is if sales increase by 1% then EBIT will increase by 2% and on the other side if sales decrease by 1% then EBIT will decrease by 2% so the degree of operating leverage measures the relationship between sales and EBIT that is sales and operating profit and next is that the low uh, EBIT value that is the uh, EBIT here is 2. So the low EBIT value indicates that fixed costs are less than variable cost. Now I will show you another example. Here you are given details of home food sales in units. So your uh, sales value this equals to sales that is in units times selling price per unit. So this equals to 15,000 times 100. Now 15 lakhs is a sales. Then you have a variable cost. So this equals to 15,000 units times rupees 60 per unit. So this equals to 15,000 units times 60. So 9 lakhs. Then your contribution is this equals to 15 lakhs minus 9 lakhs. That is 6 lakhs is the contribution margin. Then your EBIT earnings before interest and tax this equals to sales that is 15 lakhs sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost is your EBIT. So 15 lakhs minus variable cost 9 lakhs minus fixed cost 5 lakhs. So this is EBIT is 1 lakh. Now your degree of operating leverage this equals to contribution margin that is 6 lakhs upon EBIT 
that is 1 lakh this is a contribution upon eb it so this equals to 6 now what the 6 indicates is if sales increases or decrease by 1% EBIT will increase or decrease by 6% when a degree of operating leverage is high that means your fixed costs are higher than your variable cost or we can say that you have a high fixed costs so here the risk is if a company has a high fixed cost then its degree of operating leverage which measures the operating risk will be high in the sense on a positive side it will have a multifold impact on a profitability that is if 1% increase in a sales mean you will get a 6% increase in EBIT on the other hand the downside is if the sales decrease by 1% then EBIT will decrease by 6% so this is going to be a phenomenal impact on your EBIT so this is how you need to calculate degree of operating leverage and interpret the result the higher the degree of operating leverage the higher is the operating risk for a company and the lower the operating leverage the lower is the operating risk for a company thank you thank you for watching the lecture